sports fans, welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Throwback Thursday, and you know what that means. Old stuff. Today, the Wayback Machine takes us back to 1987 to look at an autographed ball from Yankee Fantasy Camp. In the booth today is the Verifier, my old man, the Papacita, Alan Goldberg. Welcome to the show again, Dad. Thank you, son. Good to be here. So we've got the ball here. Uh, We're going to go through and take a look at some of the autographs, and we have a nice little crop of photos from the camp, and we can take a look at those briefly and uh, just chat. You can tell a couple little stories, anecdotes, and give the people something to enjoy and spend their time with in the apocalypse. Uh, So first up, obviously, we got the Mick right out of the gate here. Right on the sweet spot. As always, that's how Mick... And now, I talk a lot on the show about how I'm very angry that the young players, as we're collecting cards, their autographs really suck. They're in that loop. You can't read them. They're just... Do any of those kids think they're going to sign more autographs than Mickey Mantle? And look at this. Even drunk, it looked like this. <laughs> Could have been. It was, you know... No, no. It's yeah. a, when we were at the National, we had all the autographs that were like, you're a legend, asshole. <laughs> And signed by Mickey, and says he would sign those when he was drunk, but they look great. I know. So he, it's not sloppy, and these kids are, like, writing their initials. It's insulting to me as a collector. Uh, and so here, we've got you and Mickey and Whitey. Yep, yeah, that's at Fort Lauderdale, the ex-spring training home of the Yankees. Oh, yeah, we're, so they're not in no, George, they're, now they're George, this wasn't George Steinbrenner Field. No, this no, is, this was in, in uh, Fort Lauderdale before they moved to Tampa. Gotcha, gotcha. So, I mean, you were living the spring training dream. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we'll turn here. We got Tom Sturdivant. Tom Sturdivant and Jake Gibbs. And tell the the kids who don't know who these people are. Tom Sturdivant was a great pitcher for the Yankees in the 50s. Jake Gibbs was was actually an All-American quarterback at University of Mississippi and decided to play baseball instead of being a quarterback, and he was a catcher for the Yankees. Sure, he didn't have a long career, but he was one of the guys. Man, I didn't know that. We hear that a lot now. You know, you think of like Pat Mahomes and Kyler Murray, these kids who were baseball players, and they're ch- instead of choosing baseball, which is a wiser choice, they're choosing football. But see how b- far back it goes. Mm-hmm. All right, so here's Whitey. And there's Hank Bauer and Whitey Ford. And so here's you and Hank. Yep. A couple old veterans. Right, so you said Hank was a, he was a Marine. Hank was a Marine in the Second World War in the Pacific, Purple Heart. Uh, You never wanted to get in a fight with Hank. Just look at the size. I mean, you're not a big man, I'm not a big man. But look, this is old Hank Bauer. I don't want to mess with this guy when he's a Marine in fighting shape. Hank, Hank was quite the guy. He was great fun. And so here's a, a quick one here of you. This I'm trying to think of who this stance looks like. Maybe like Craig Nettles or something? Mickey, more like Mickey Rose. Or, or Mickey. I was going to say Mickey because we just got the autograph, yeah. and that's what it looks like. I wasn't too tall, and I wanted to give him the smallest possible <laughs> strike zone you could possibly You're trying to get walks life. at fantasy camp? I would, I would, anything I could get. Your fantasy camp goal was a high on-base percentage. That's right, which I did have. <laughs> and not everyone can say that. That's right. Uh, let's see who, we, who else we got. Okay, so and here's I got Moose. Mo- Moose Scalrin. I don't know if we have a picture of Moose scouring back here. I don't think so. No. But uh, gonna, but so this was funny too. Back here we've got the picture of the that's that's uh, Gene Monahan, who was a long time trainer for the Yankees, taping everybody up. These guys pulled every muscle but their eyelids. And I remember you talking about. I mean, the name Gene Monahan is very familiar to me. I want to say he actually just retired not that long ago. Yep, a few years ago, uh, and he still shows up at spring training. He's like the trainer emeritus for right, the Yankees. Right, right. They could use him now again and with all the injuries. His his training, his partner, the assistant writer, was Steve Donahue, who also just was forced to retire nah. when the Yankees redid all their training staff. He is also now the trainer emeritus. But yeah, those guys... It was amazing how they got you back on the field. I mean, hamstrings, ankles, everything. Was well, I didn't, we didn't pull the picture from the album because we only had just so much space, but there is a picture of you and a lot of guys, and you look in, like, player shape. <laughs> and I just want to mention, so in these photos, you're younger than I am today. Yeah, I was 40. It was my, it was my 40th birthday present to And myself. you said you thought actually maybe you were only 39. So it was your present to yourself, but you were, like, a year or maybe six months away from your birthday or yeah. something like that. 
But when you look at these, you look like, yeah, you go out there. I mean, you were playing softball, yep. you know, after you retired and everything. But some of these guys, they were not in no, no, no. playing shape. There, there were a couple of guys who said they had gone on unbelievable diets to get in shape and they still looked like they were 300 pounds. And so we don't get to see the back of your jersey here, but why don't you tell the folks at home what your number was? Okay. When you would go to the, to the fantasy camp, they let you pick whatever number you wanted. And originally, I picked number 14 because that's the number I wore when I was in college. And I decided to change it to number two because that was Jason's Little League number. And a few years later, some other guy with the Yankees gets number two. Shocker. Like I, the only single digit left. left. Right. So I have... That is, you get to keep the uniform that you, you see me in. And I mean everything. Pants, shirt, belt, socks, shoes, everything. But I thought it was great, too, that when you look at some of the other pictures you have in your, in your photo album, that there's a lot of sevens. Yes, yeah, lots of sevens. But you'd have been easy to spot because there probably wasn't a single two. No, there was not a number two anywhere around. Although they still do Yankee Fantasy Camp, and if you had gone now, I'm sure it would be a lot of twos that there would just be, and maybe only a handful of sevens because most of those guys can't, if they could barely get out there then, they're not getting out there now. Yep. Uh, And so we got one more autograph to look at, and that's Mike Ferraro. Mike Ferraro uh, was a third, he was... Actually, a first-round draft pick for the Yankees and be, and was traded... In, I wasn't traded in the expansion draft for the original Seattle Pilots. He was draft, He was taken by Seattle. And he had a short playing career, came back as a coach, and was Billy Martin's third-base coach for years. Was that what the twins... They become the twins of the Pilots? Who did they... Yeah, no, they became the Brewers. The Brewers. The Brewers. Uh, Bud Selig bought the franchise when they folded as the Pilots and moved them to Milwaukee and they became the Brewers. And then MLB gave Seattle another franchise and that's the Mariners. But Mike Ferraro, uh, after he got done playing and coaching and everything, got into the casino business and was here in Las Vegas for a number of years working in the sports book at some of the hotels and... Just enjoying retirement. And it was cool, though, that you got to, you'd met him, you spent time, you know, a week with him at camp, and then you got to actually stay in touch and correspond. Because I remember you were working at the library, and you yeah. still were in touch with Mike yeah, Ferraro. Yeah, and, and it was actually a great hook, because I could send him pictures of players, and he'd send me back the pictures autographed. Right, I, I remember got, that. Got a bunch of Don Mattingly autographed 8x10s that I just sent to I Mike, and that. he sent them back. Yeah, well, I know we have a couple on the wall. And they're, the funny thing about those ma- Mattingly's, too, is like most of them are no mustache Mattingly. So, some are no mustache, some are Which is always mustache. a weird thing to look at, the no mustache Mattingly. It's like looking at Alex Trebek with no mustache. Right. It's just not right. Uh, so before we uh, close out, we got the ring. Let's look at the ring. Yes, every player, every camper got this ring. I don't know if you can see what it says on it. It says Mantle Ford Fantasy Camp. Oh, yeah, there we go. Were they not allowed to say Yankee? It had no. to be w- yeah. Mantle Ford? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know yeah. that. I always yeah. said Yankee. And it's got, a, it's got your year on it, 87. Yeah. Yeah. And, a, and a Yankee blue. Piece of glass. <laughs> Piece of glass. I remember, though, when I was young and you had moved into your house that you're in now, and someone had come to do some kind of work on the house and saw the Yankee room and saw the ring and was like, and, and the pictures, and asked if you were a player, and you never really said no, but we just kind of went along with it. And the guy was like, oh my god, did you win a world, is this your ring? He's like, yeah, 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 that's, sure. That's my ring. Sure, yeah. yes, that is a ring yeah, of the Yankees, Yankees. Uh, variety, right. absolutely. Although now, uh, for Hanukkah a couple of years ago, I, I got you the six box the, of Yankee. The, then you can really show yeah. it off. Where's the, the foolish guys now where you can really pull one over on them? And say, yeah, that's right, I got six rings. Oh, yeah. You think Tom Brady's good. Yeah, yeah. I'm the GOAT. Uh, so there you go. Uh, a little fun something something on Throwback Thursday. Uh, everyone, leave a comment for the verifier. Let them know what you thought of today's episode. We're going to keep digging into the vault and finding things to look at and share with everybody at home during these insane times. Anything you'd like to say to the folks at home before we go? Stay inside. That's right. Hashtag stay, stay home. Stay Don't cough or sneeze on anybody. <laughs>
All right, so good luck out there, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy. And we'll see you next, next time, time in, in the broadcast, broadcast booth. booth.